send away for a priceless gift. Oh, nice ball. I don't want to watch this, man. It'll, it'll come. Really? Yeah. Well, it hasn't come yet. I, you think it, it will. Sometimes I fall to my knees and pray. Come, Jesus, come. Let today be the day. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna break, but I'm holding on to a hope that won't fade. I now become your enemy because I tell you the truth. No, your real enemy is somebody that knows the truth, but they're afraid to tell you. I have the boys half the time 50 50. She is basing her figure as if she has them full time. I pay for all their clothes, books, late fees, school, basically everything. She gets food stamps from the state for both boys, but has them half the time. Bottom line is she needs to be working full time and take the $45,000 I gave her and put it down in a place. I also believe that the boys would be better off with me every week. She can visit on the weekends. I would like her to get a mental and physical evaluation. I have no problem raising our boys full time. And I think this is what led to her borrowing the money from her dad uh, and buying a house in Texas and cutting off all uh all communication with me well actions speak louder than words i say immediately you have to be able to reason backwards when that sh the alienated parent shows genuine support for the relationship between the other parent and child you know it and how the child behaves they will accept the other parent like this like a light switch and my most recent paper we found that in the U.S., it's about um, 22 million adults are the victims of parental alienating behaviors, um, and they are not reciprocating the behaviors. So they are the primary targets of these behaviors. Before I moved to South Dakota, um, Nicole and I were talking about, uh, she was talking about maybe moving to Idaho or Eastern Washington, um, and I told her that uh, we would just, you know, make it work. So, um, I just thought me moving to South Dakota, uh, we would just make it work. But this letter states, this is the letter I gave her the day I left. I also gave her $3,000, assuming she would have the boys for three months while I was in South Dakota, getting the house situated 
and needed some remodeling as well. Um, Nicole, thank you for having two beautiful boys. It is in the best interest of my sanity to move to a state where we are free. Referring to COVID lockdowns and the vaccines. Didn't want to get the vaccines. Um, I cannot live in Washington State any longer. We still share custody, so I guess we just need to figure out how to share the boys across several states. I remember you were talking about Idaho at one point, and I would travel back and forth to make that happen. Elijah seems to love it in this prison state, and I feel he worries about you. He has not expressed any interest in moving, traveling, or even visiting. But maybe you can talk to him. Originally, I would like to have them nine months so they can go to public school in South Dakota where they could have a normal childhood school experience and send, and spend summers with you. Or you have them nine months and I have them for summers. And yes, I would have to pay you $1,000 a month for the three months out of six. I wouldn't have them. Or we split three months with you and three months with me off and on. That is if they are homeschooled. The other option is six months with you and six months with me. Ethan is willing to come check it out, but Elijah is pretty upset. So I don't want them to do anything they don't want to do. The reason I was trying to have you sign the payoff thing for the property was so I could borrow money against the equity from the property. I was going to put fifteen to 20000 towards a house for you that would be in your name and own. Elijah had said Cliff was going to help with a place, and I was thinking if we put those two monies together to buy you a house, that would be a good thing. There are houses here for twenty to 50000 that are livable and nice. The problem now is my mobile home had been moved twice. It wasn't bought brand new, so no finance company wants to refinance it. Amy's mom bought herself a house and bought us a house. We were going to upgrade the house she bought us. I was waiting to hear back from the finance company before I talked to you about this scenario, but it turned out I couldn't refinance my old house and property in Washington. I had to uh, sell it. Um, I do not want to make the boys do anything they don't want to, but I do believe South Dakota is a much better place to raise children than Washington at the time. Um, is rejection of a parent serious for, for a child? It absolutely is. Um, to reject a parent is a very unnatural thing for a child to do. We are born helpless into the world and we attach to our primary caregivers as a way of avoiding being abandoned. And our biggest fear is that we will be abandoned. And unfortunately what happens to children in these circumstances is that they are forced to reject a parent against their uh, natural way of being in the world and then they're forced to live with and suffer the consequences of that which are very very deep and they're long lasting and one of the problems about alienation is that um, we don't readily see the impact on the child in the here and now what we see is the impact of the child much further down the line <laughs> He, he gave